Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to show you how you should adjust volume levels in Share Factory when you're editing on your PlayStation 4. And what we've got here is we've got um, a, a clip that's been split up into three with a bit of a slow motion zoom in in part of it. And you can probably you might be able to see where the head is down in the bottom right corner. We've got some commentary as well. So we want to adjust stuff. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is adjusting the gameplay volume on a normal gameplay video, such as you can see here. If it's a little bit quiet, or maybe it's a little bit loud, <coughs> it's dead easy. All you need to do is you press the square button, and you go to clip volume, and then you can move it up or down. Sometimes I find, with most videos, it's worth, say, putting gameplay video up to 120. Now, be careful when you're listening back to it, that you don't start to hear distortion and things, because that means um, you, you've pushed it too hard and it's gonna clip and not sound very good. Always remember in Share Factory when you're editing on the main timeline, that any edits you do to the volume only apply to the selected clip, so this one here. They won't apply to this one or this one either. So let's say, as we were watching this, you know, we have the normal video, and then it goes to a slow motion, like this, and we want this to be really loud, so the gunshots are, are um, singing out. Again, we press square, clip volume, whack it, you know, up to about 150, and that would do that, and that would uh, adjust that volume there. Now, if you've recorded a commentary uh, on Share Factory, um, using your headset, or maybe your PlayStation camera, you'll want to adjust the relative volumes as well. So the way to do it, I find, is if you press, if you record it, and then if you press square to go edit track two, you see there, there's the track there from the beginning to the end. What normally I find with my particular headset is that I always want to make, the, uh, make it a little bit louder, around about 120. Um, that seems to work very well. But then what you need to do is the gameplay that's underneath your commentary, you need to make it quieter. So if you kind of line up the head where the commentary starts and then back out of it, pressing circle, so we're back in the main timeline again now, then press square and press split clip and make a split there. And then if you go back and then press square and go edit track two again, then move the head to the where the commentary finishes, say there, back out of it, press square, split clip, put another split in there. Now we've got a nice clip right underneath where our commentary is. You can kind of estimate it by looking at the head uh, track in the, in the big timeline in the bottom of the screen, but it's difficult to see. But if you do this way, you can see that. So now what I can do is if I press circle to get out of the split clip bit, and then press square to get into the edit, I can now edit uh, the uh, clip volume and turn it right down, say to about 20 or maybe even 10, depending on the game. Um, and that way, you know, we've got our normal gameplay at normal volume. As soon as I start talking, the volume of the gameplay drops right back. And then when I've stopped talking, it increases again. Now to make that change in volume nice and soft, what, what, might you, what you might want to do is press X to add a transition. And then just add a crossfade at the beginning and a crossfade at the end. And that, it can look a little bit odd on the video sometimes, but most times you don't notice it, but it does make a difference. You don't get that sudden jar of increase in volume. One final tip, is that if you are going to record commentary over the top of your video, one of the things I find if you're using a headset that can really help is before you start recording the clip, go into the main uh, video and turn the clip volume to zero. Turn it all the way down. So that what happens then is, and then you would do that, um, and then you would go to um, cross and then add track two. Um, what that does is it stops the volume obviously coming through on your headset because it can be distracting when you're trying to talk over a gameplay video if that gameplay is, is chattering away in your ear. And then when you've done recording the commentary, then go back and then increase that gameplay volume you know, up to 20 or 30 or maybe 10 depending on how loud it is. So there we go. That's how you add it. Add it. That's how you edit gameplay volume in Share Factory on the PS4. Hope it's been helpful. If you've got any questions about specific editing on Share Factory or any other gameplay editing, please put your questions in the comments down below or email me scalespeedgmail.com. 
If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.